Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO, Samsung Electronics North America, Tim Baxter. Welcome to CES 2018. You know, each year we show you the future of consumer technology, but this year we're going to do a little bit differently. Yes, you'll see the amazing new products you come to expect from Samsung, but you'll also see the strategy behind how Samsung's and other branded connected products work in unison to make life simpler and easier. Internally, we call this our multi-device experience strategy. Now, I stood on stage last year and promised that despite setbacks, Samsung would continue to innovate and lead. And we've done just that. With more than 20% of the global smartphone market, we have cemented our leadership in the mobile space. In TVs, Samsung continues to be the global brand leader for 12 consecutive years. And we are leading the global refrigerator market. In 2017, we stayed focused on our mission to deliver meaningful innovation to consumers and businesses. This commitment has helped us become the sixth most valuable brand globally. That same progress continues right here in the US. We are the number one brand in TVs, and for the first time, we've achieved brand share leadership in home appliances. Also, thanks to our loyal fans, we rebuilt our mobile brand and market share position with some of the best selling and best reviewed smartphones. In fact, the Galaxy S8 is currently Consumer Reports' top-rated smartphone. To help our fans get the most out of the phones, we launched Premium Care in the U.S., the only product support program that comes to you at your home, your office, or your favorite coffee shop. And I'm excited to announce that throughout 2018, we will be expanding Premium Care to include our entire consumer electronics product line. Consistently delivering for consumers doesn't happen by accident. It is the result of investing in innovation. In 2017, we spent over $14 billion on R&D and billions more on CapEx to empower more than 65,000 engineers and designers to create the latest breakthrough technologies. And we looked outside of Samsung for the best ideas, best technology, and best minds in the industry. In just the past few years, our investments and acquisitions have brought new ideas into the fold. Samsung Pay, SmartThings, Harman, Decor, to, to name just a few. And Samsung Next is one of the core drivers of Samsung's transformation into an integrated hardware and software company. In 2017, Next invested in 29 startups and acquired four companies. Through investments and acquisitions like these, we seed and support the next generation of technology, IoT, AI, AR, and autonomous driving. The result of our leadership and investments are technologies and solutions that makes consumers' lives easier and better. For example, our, home, our investments in home appliances resulted in a line of modern built-ins called the Chef Collection. A state-of-the-art refrigerator, the family hub, that lets people connect in new ways. And Flex Wash and Flex Dry that reimagine laundry. This is what it means to invest and to lead. And you know what? We continue to invest, especially here in the U.S. A $17 billion dollars that we have put into the Austin Semiconductor facility since its opening, and the more than $10 billion invested last year alone in U.S. cloud, AI, connected car, and premium appliance companies were just the start. 
Last June, we announced plans to open a 380 million home appliance production facility in the U.S. that will create nearly 1,000 jobs in South Carolina by 2020. And I'm really proud to announce the first washing machines from this factory will start rolling off the line this Friday, January 12th. Yes, yes. Just last month, we announced a new R&D partnership with Clemson University and the University of South Carolina to establish a Samsung appliance innovation hub right there in South Carolina. Of course, we have and continue to invest in IoT. Four years ago, we acquired SmartThings to shape and establish this new market. Today, Samsung SmartThings has evolved into one of the largest open IoT platforms with over 370 certified devices from more than 40 brands automating millions of daily activities, monitoring and controlling your home, whether you're there or away. In 2015, you remember, we made a bold promise here that all Samsung devices would be IoT enabled by 2020. Guess what? 90% of our TVs, appliances, smartphones and tablets are now IoT ready. Yeah. In 2016, we introduced a galaxy of devices and services that bring unique, powerful experiences to consumers. Smartphones, wearables in VR, and services like Samsung Pay. This mobile ecosystem connected you to the entire world around you. And last year, we showcased the investments we made in 5G, AI, the cloud, and the connected car. All of this created the foundation of our IoT ecosystem and, frankly, our go-forward strategy. And today, we're happy to take the next step. You know, globally, Samsung sells almost a half a billion connected devices per year. Today, you're going to hear how we, number one, how we will seamlessly be connecting all of these devices in new waves, and number two, how we're seamlessly connecting those devices with products that make up the SmartThings family, a platform that includes essentially all the top brands in smart home space. This is a bold vision to bring all of this together into a single open ecosystem, giving consumers more flexibility and more options, making life easier, or as we say, to do what you can't. And because security is so critical, we're taking an important step forward for consumers. I'm happy to announce we're bringing the protection of our Samsung Knox technology to our consumer electronic products, including smart TVs, signage, and appliances. So, I've shared how our investments fit within our strategy and vision. Now I'm excited for you to hear how we will use the cloud, AI via Bixby, the connected car, and very soon, 5G to bring this massive ecosystem together. You'll see exciting new products and the new multi-device experiences that they will create. So, to share how this is all coming together, please welcome the president and head of Samsung's global consumer electronics business and Samsung Research, Mr. H.S. Kim. Hello, it's great to be here at CES. As Tom noted, 
our business is not only strong, it is growing. We continue to design and engineer great technology to make consumers' life better. Consumers are choosing Samsung to power their daily lives. More than a billion connected Samsung devices are in use around the world. It's a staggering number. And we couldn't proud. But you are not content to rest on our rest, our success. The time for true delivery of IoT and AI is now. Because we believe IoT can and it should make a consumer's life simpler and easier. Freeing up time to let them do the things they love. So, today I'd like to share with you our integrated IoT strategy. This strategy has uh, three core elements. Seamless connectivity between any IoT device using one app. A single cloud to manage these devices. And intelligence powered by your voice that allows your, your devices to work smart and better for you. First, let's talk about connectivity and open innovation. With more and more connected devices, IoT becomes accessible to more partners and developers offering better experiences to consumers. This is a promise for smart things. Millions of active users enjoying smart things experience every day. There is enhanced by growing number of connected devices joining the Samsung, joining the smart things ecosystem. This is the beauty of a smart things platform. Samsung and smart things enable device working together in an open ecosystem to make things easier for consumers. Yet, getting those devices work and work together isn't always easy. For too many, the world of connected device is still fragmented and complex. Each new device means new set of experience, new password to remember, new interface to learn, and a new way to manage and control it all. That's not simpler. That's not easier. IoT should be as easy as a flipping a switch. So, we decide to do something about it. To easily connect and control all the IoT devices in your life you are unifying the many existing IoT apps, such as Samsung Connect, Smart Home, Smart View, and more into one. A single touch point for your connected world. It is called SmartThings app. Coming this spring, this single SmartThings app will let you manage and control your Samsung Connected and any SmartThings compatible devices. SmartThings will be your remote control for your connected life. Our, Our, com our commitment to open innovation does not stop with the smart things. We are also working with the industry partners in the Open Connectivity Foundation to help us set industry standards and eliminate IoT fragmentation. OCF 
is the largest IoT center body with 397 industry members. And Samsung is actively driving the IoT standard for a less fragmented world. Samsung Family Hub, a Samsung air conditioner, and an Arctic Smart IoT Ready module have already been certified by this organization. By 2020, all Samsung devices will be compatible with OCF. And furthermore, OCF certified devices will be compatible with SmartThings Cloud. These lead us to the next strategy. The IoT cloud is the backbone of our connected ecosystem, powering the device and experience people rely on every day. To make the cloud even more powerful, recently announced the SmartThings Cloud, a single platform that allows developers to create better, more valuable IoT experiences for consumers. The unified SmartThings Cloud will help convince industry players to join the SmartThings ecosystem. And it'll help to grow SmartThings experience for even more consumers. And today, I'm proud to unveil our new development in our IoT Cloud strategy. We are going beyond the smart home. Harmon Ignite, the cloud platform that powers Harmon's connected car solutions, will be connected to the SmartThings cloud. It means that your car will become another key component of your connected life. Because we believe those connected, to the connected devices together should be able to do more for you. Now, I'd like to discuss the last strategy, intelligence. Intelligence should make your life easier. That was our vision with Bixby. To make your device better, to help you do things faster and easier, fewer steps, less menus, more actions, all with a single voice command. Deeply integrate in our devices. Bixby let consumers control just about anything, music, content, and their home. Bringing together IoT and personalized intelligence Bixby makes the connect device in your life work better for you. And we are taking Bixby to the next level. Intelligence that intuitively understands you and figure out what you need before you even have to ask. Today, we are announcing a major new commitment by 2020, all Samsung connected devices will not only be IoT ready, they will also be intelligent. <laughs> TVs, refrigerators, and more will understand you and your preference, and will tailor an experience that's right for you. The team started up today by talking about our investment strategy. Well, when it comes to intelligence, we are investing heavily. Recently brought together our hardware and software research unit under a new entity called Samsung Research. And under Samsung Research, we created 
AI center, which will expand to four labs around the world. These labs, coupled with our ongoing investment and our M&A effort, will drive our AI ambitions forward. All to help make IoT work better and easier for you. Now, let's take a look at the big picture. We believe for that IoT to make your life easier, IoT has to be simpler too. This means more connectivity to enrich the device in your life. IoT has to be open so any developer can build a device that becomes part of your connected world. IoT has to be seamless and easy. From the cloud, that makes it all happen. To the app, let's put it all together. And finally, IoT should be intelligent. The real value to consumers comes when those devices help you do more. Less complexity, more, simplest, more simplicity, that is our vision. And that's what Samsung is committed to delivering for you. Thank you, and enjoy what my colleagues have in store for you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Executive Vice President, Samsung Electronics America, Joe Stinziano. Thank you, and good afternoon, CES. In talking to consumers over the years, one thing has become clear. They are moved not just by our products, but by the experiences that they offer. So today, I want to first tell you about our incredible new lineup for the home, and then show you how we're creating better experiences for you and your family. It starts with your television. 2017 was another great year for our TV business. As Tim mentioned, we remain the number one TV brand in the world. And 2018 is going to be even bigger, brighter, and bolder. Building our leadership position in super large screen TVs, keeping our focus on winning in the premium category, and introducing exciting new technologies that will revolutionize the viewing experience. Now, it used to be that people organized their lives around TV. We watched our favorite shows when they actually aired. And we designed our living rooms around the TV setup. Now, our 2018 TVs are designed around your life. Let's take a look. Thank you. So let's talk about that TV experience. We're making it even easier to find the content that you love. When you're ready to find a binge-worthy binge -worthy series, but you don't know what to watch, our new 2018 smart TVs have the answer. It's called the Universal Guide. In just one location, find movies and shows personalized to your tastes, so you can start watching right away. We also believe there is opportunity to make your TVs even more intelligent. In 2018, Samsung Smart TVs sold in the US will now have the power and intelligence of Bixby. Ask Bixby, find your favorite action movies from the 90s. Dim the lights when you're ready to watch TV, check the weather, or pull up photos from your last week, Ben. Bixby can do all of this. 
We've also added the Smart Things app to our 2018 Smart TVs, so now your TV becomes a dashboard for your entire IoT ecosystem, allowing you to manage your connected devices from the largest screen in your home. This is television designed around you. Now, we're bringing that same philosophy, that same experience to the rest of your home. When we first introduced Family Hub at CES in 2016, we had exactly that in mind. Today, Family Hub is much more than just a fridge. It's a way to manage your food, to stay connected with your family, and to bring fun and entertainment into the kitchen. And our Family Hub owners have come to rely on its unique features as well. Send your kids a reminder on the Family Hub screen while you're on your way home from work. Or use Family Hub to browse for quick meal ideas based on the ingredients you have on hand. It's features like these that help Samsung define an entirely new category of home appliances. In 2018, we're giving consumers more choice by expanding our Family Hub suite to 14 models. And we're giving consumers the ability to manage their connected devices from the kitchen because the new Family Hub will also feature the SmartThings app. That's connected living. Now let's take a look. Should we give him a shower? Mommy, Tate's in the washing. Hi, Big Speed. Start the washer. And what you need here in the washing? Good morning. Groceries. Okay, I'm coming. Bixby on Family Hub means more connectivity and more possibilities for the things that you do in the kitchen. With Bixby, the 2018 Family Hub does more than just listen and answer. It recognizes individual voices of family members and tailors the response accordingly. But at the end of the day, we all know food management is still a top priority for our customers. So we're bringing a new level of convenience and personalization to meal planning as well. The new meal planner on Family Hub provides recipes based on your family's preferences, dietary restrictions, and food expiration dates. That's just some of the ways this new Family Hub makes life at home easier. Now, to show you what some of these experiences look like, I'd like to invite my colleague, Mr. Yoon Lee, to the stage. Yoon. Welcome. How are you doing? Good, sir. Come on over here. All right. Thank you. It's great to be here, and hello, CES. As HS said, IoT is still frustrating for many consumers, but it doesn't have to be. And let's start with TVs. All right. You know, Ewan, when I talk to consumers about buying a new TV, I often hear how tedious it can be to do all the setup, adding apps, and that lengthy login process. Yes. We spent a lot of time thinking about how we could overhaul that process by using the device you already use the most and has all the information you need to set up the TV. That's your smartphone. Makes sense. First, let me show you how to connect your home, Wi-Fi, Samsung account to your new TV, and then We'll also be loading your favorite apps like Spotify right onto your TV. So you ready? Ready. OK. So just connect your Android or iOS phone to the TV via Bluetooth Low Energy. And when it's connected, you see this? You'll get this pop-up. When you get this pop-up, all you need to do is just press the Setup. And it's actually loading the necessary information from your phone to the TV via SmartThings Cloud. So wait, 
that Wi-Fi password I can never remember at home, and Stinziano password, all that stuff, you just did it one click? No more Stinzi, oh shit, back, 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 ah, no. It's all loaded in. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to load um, Spotify. So uh, a, a couple clicks after, you're gonna see this page, and you click a law, and next, and bingo. Your TV is connected to the internet, to your Samsung account, and to Spotify. Not only that, all ready to go, Spotify, all logged in. Right. There you go. Oh, BTS. Yeah. That's my playlist, Lou. My playlist, BTS. This guy knows BTS. That's incredible. I learned about him yesterday. Yep. That's incredible. OK, and you can do the same thing with Facebook, Video, Hulu, and more apps coming soon. You, that actually is pretty cool. I now understand why we call it effortless login. What else you got? OK, um, next I want to talk about Universal Guy, because I think it's important. Mm -hmm. I'm a UFC fan, and I've set it up so that when a fight I want to watch is about to start, I'm going to get an alert here. Okay. OK, so there you go. There's an alert. It says it's starting in one minute. Mm -hmm. So to tune into that channel, all I need to do this time is just click watch, the and there you go. Nice, nice. UFC. UFC? That's it. Do you ever do it? All right. All right. Okay, so one more thing, Joe. All right. Grab that remote. Okay. And check with Bigsby to see if we have anything in the fridge for the fight. All right. Show me what's in the fridge. Okay. All right, some eggs, some rabbit food, some water. So it's not my okay. fridge. But I've ordered pizza, so we're covered. We're good to go. Pizza, good. So when the door rings, we can check who's at the door right from the TV screen. Mm -hmm without missing any of the action. Very cool. Okay. All right, so why don't you click that thing and view it in full screen. And then there you go. Let's see. Pizza's here. Okay. Sweet. That pizza guy is sitting somewhere no here. vision Not yet? Yeah, well, that, that pizza guy is some, sitting somewhere here. Right. Anyway, if you are closer to your phone, you can check it from there. Or if you're closer to Family Help, you can check it from there as well. Hmm? That, that is truly what a seamless experience should look like, Yoon. All these devices working together. Let's go over to the kitchen. Okay. All right. So we've made the 2018 Family Hub more personal than ever. As you mentioned it earlier, Joe, it now recognizes multiple voices and knows your preferences mm -hmm. based on the voice. Yep. Okay. So why don't you give it a try? Okay. Hi, Bixby. Play my morning brief. Good morning, Joe. Ah, Here is your morning guy. brief. <laughs> you have sales meeting at 8 a.m. Meeting at 12.15 p.m. Samsung CES 2018 press conference at 2 p.m. Yes, we do. Followed by team meeting and working dinner at 6 p.m. Okay. Have a great day, Joe. That's good. Working hard, man. Typical day. Typical working day. Working hard. I'm curious. How about yours? Mine? Okay. Hi, Bixby. Play my morning brief. <laughs> good morning, you. Here is your morning brief. You have Samsung CES 2018 press conference at 2 p.m. Racing at 3.30 p.m. College football championship at 5 p.m. Followed by CES party at 11 p.m. Have a great day, you. <laughs> They're both accurate, actually, aren't they? Yeah, well, that's, that's work for me. Yeah, I know, right? I know, I know. So look, this is just a sample of possibilities. Simple, convenient, and personal. There will be more examples showcased in the Samsung booths, so I encourage everyone to stop by. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Yoon. Joe. Good job. Thanks again, Yoon. Now, it wouldn't be CES without an amazing new Samsung TV. And this year is no exception. 
Last night at our first look event, we unveiled a new TV that is generating a ton of buzz. And it's already won the 2018 CES Best of Innovation Award. We believe this is one of the most important and unprecedented TV technologies to debut in more than a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the Samsung Micro LED TV, the world's very first consumer television with self-emitting micro LED technology. Yes. Micro LED. This is the TV without the trade-offs experienced in other technologies like OLED. It uses non-organic materials and does not require a color filter to produce perfect blacks and accurate color. The micro LED does not sacrifice brightness or viewing angle either. And the Samsung micro LED is modular, meaning any size you want, any configuration you can think of, this TV's design transforms the concept of what's possible. Simply put, this is the future of television, and it's going to make a significant impact on our industry. So be at our booth starting tomorrow. Be sure to stop by and see it. Now, hopefully you've seen how our connected vision comes to life. Whether you're on the couch, in the kitchen, or on the go, Samsung is delivering a familiar experience enabling to do what you can't. Thank you so much and have a great CES. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President, Samsung Electronics America, Elena Cotton. Well, hello everyone. Now you've heard a lot today about how we're going to make life simpler and more personalized. And what's more personal than a device that's right on your wrist? We've been leading the wearables journey for four years now. And in 2017, we had a banner year. With the launch of Gear Sport, Gear Fit 2 Pro, and the 4G LTE-enabled, award-winning Gear S3. And in 2018, we're taking it to the next level, bringing the SmartThings app to the Gear S3 and Gear Sport. Whether it's dimming the lights to set the perfect mood for dinner, or setting the house to the ideal 71 degrees before I get home, I'll be able to control my environment in new ways right from my wrist. Now, personalization is not only important at home, it's also important at work, wherever work is. By 2020, more than half of the global workforce will be working non-traditionally, whether that's remotely or working for yourself as a freelancer, we now have the power to choose the way we work. As one of the fastest growing PC manufacturers, Samsung is leading the way, creating mobile computing devices that enable the needs of today's modern mobile workforce. Two-in-one tablets, like our Tab S3, Samsung Chromebooks, and now introducing our even slimmer, sleeker, and more powerful PC the Samsung Notebook 9 Pen. It is our lightest and most durable two-in-one PC ever, giving you the power and flexibility to work wherever you are. It weighs only 2.2 pounds and has a 360-degree rotating hinge for optimal display. With a premium design that doesn't sacrifice durability, this is the laptop you actually can bring with you everywhere without worrying about regular wear and tear. And for creators, designers, writers, the Notebook 9 pen shatters all limits on how you can express yourself. The Notebook 9 pen brings the same built-in S pen from our popular Galaxy Note series. Its pressure sensitivity 
and fine tip provides a natural writing and drawing experience. And with the Samsung's Air Command on a Windows PC, you can leverage signature S Pen features like Smart Select, Screen Write, and Samsung Notes. Best of all, the S Pen is powered by the PC itself, so it never needs to be charged. Now this is a productive, powerful, and portable PC. But we know that a powerful laptop means nothing unless you can easily share and collaborate. To do this, it's time to transform the modern meeting. Introducing the Samsung Flip. Now I want you to picture, now I want you, if you will, picture your last team meeting. Laptops, papers, sticky notes, and a crowded whiteboard that everyone is taking pictures of. Now, imagine digitizing that process. Samsung Flip is a portable, fully integrated and interactive whiteboard that can connect to your PC, and your phone so you can easily share and mark up content together as a team. So, let's take a look at how it works. Hi, Ben. Hey, Alina. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. So, we were working on a presentation, right. and I want to make a few changes. And this is not going to take long. So, here is the Notebook 9 Pen yeah. and the last slide that we were working on. And I Got just it. have one suggestion that I want to add in here. I'd like to slide this over. And we've been talking about this target consumer all day. And I'd like to go ahead and uh, make that uh, a graphic on the side there. Very cool. So red hair and all, right? Yep, I love it. Exactly. Perfect rendering. <laughs> and so uh, the other piece of the media that I wanted to show you was actually on my Note 8. Um, so you're actually going to like this. This is pretty cool. Very cool. So with my Note 8, I simply tap to connect using NFC technology. And like that, I have video and a two-way control of my phone. Very cool. Uh, so let's see. Uh, we'll find the image that I wanted to show you. All here right. it is. And again, uh, control from here or from here. And I'm just going to grab a screenshot so we can add that to our notes. Disconnect from the phone. Too easy. And so the suggestion I was talking about for the last slide, okay. I'd like to use the Gear Fit 2 Pro. As the image? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure about that one. How about we use the Gear Sport instead? Easy fix. We'll do that. I will send it directly from Flip out to the team. What do you think about that, Elena? I love it. Approved. Send it. Great. Thank you guys so much. So this technology is pretty amazing. As we look to really transform the modern meeting, this technology will be essential. And Samsung Flip will be available in the US and Europe this month. I cannot wait to get one of these in my office for our next team meeting. So from wearables like the Gear S3 that personalize your life to the Notebook 9 Pen PC that allows you to work wherever, whenever, to the new Samsung Flip that takes the traditional meeting to the next level, Samsung is empowering you to do what you can't. Now, to share another exciting part of Samsung's vision, please welcome back to the stage Tim Baxter. 
Thank you. All right, thanks, Elena. You know, so you've heard our strategy, an ecosystem of devices working together to create unique experiences. But our strategy doesn't stop there. To give you a glimpse of how we are simultaneously planning the next phase, let's talk about 5G and the connected car. Simply put, 2G, put the phone in your pocket. 3G and 4G put the internet in your pocket. Now, 5G will put fiber into your pocket. 5G's increased speed, minimal latency, and massive connectivity, connectivity will lead us to a world where everything has instantaneous connectivity. And by doing so, 5G will unlock smart wearables, AR and VR and high def, true smart cities, connected transportation, and many new possibilities that haven't even been imagined. Just as Samsung led the implementation of 3G and 4G technologies, it's only natural that we are taking the lead in 5G. From our expertise in chipsets and networking, to our heritage of device innovation, and our partnerships that are bringing the benefits of 5G to life, Samsung is uniquely positioned to turn 5G's potential into reality. In the last year, we have worked with partners around the world to test 5G in the field. In Korea, we completed the first real world tests of 4G, 5G into working with SK Telecom. And we will have exciting news with KT about Pyeongchang in the coming weeks. In Japan, our 5G train trial with KDDI proved that 5G wireless fiber can stream 8K video to a train going 60 miles per hour. And in the US, after successful 5G trials with Verizon in seven cities, we announced last week that Verizon has selected Samsung for the launch of its first 5G commercial service in Sacramento later this year. Yes. 5G is on the verge of becoming widely available. Now, one place where we see new possibilities is in the car. And that's where Samsung and Harman will continue to lead. More broadly, the car is an integral part of our strategy and with truly autonomous vehicles hitting the road in the near future, this is a critical and exciting time for the industry. Let's take a look at what Samsung and Harman are envisioning together. Hi, Bixby. Come pick me up. Okay, Jenny. You have a schedule to pick up Alex. Get my car ready. Jack, the car is ready. Automatically setting up Jack's driving conditions. Time of arrival, 35 minutes. Pretty cool, huh? Well, to tell you more about what we're doing, please join me in welcoming, welcoming President and CEO of Harman, Dinesh Palawal. Thank you, Tim. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to be part of the Samsung team 
and share with you how Samsung and Harman have used our combined strengths in mobile and automotive to develop some exciting technologies for the connected car. The first is a new integrated in-vehicle technology platform that makes car cockpit less fragmented and visually less confusing. Our intelligent digital cockpit, shown for the first time here at CES 2018, securely delivers greater productivity and personalization with countless apps and enterprise services. The digital cockpit merges the instrument cluster and the entertainment systems of the car into one. For automakers, this simplifies the integration and deployment of new functionalities and services. For consumers, all of us, it intelligently unifies the dashboard design, system controls, drivers, passengers can customize their media, navigation, climate control, and many more. With Harman's sophisticated sound solutions and branded audio systems, and integrating Bixby and the cloud, the digital cockpit delivers a more personalized, more entertaining in-car experience than ever before. Set your thermostat on the way home. See what groceries are in your family hub before you go to supermarket. Stream your music in the car and have it playing on your smart speaker when you come home. Seamless connectivity to your digital life. The second technology I want to share is our new telematics control unit, or TCU. Our cars are no longer islands. They have to communicate with traffic lights, instruments, infrastructure, and even other cars on the road. Telematics is what makes these connections possible. By linking several external networks to onboard systems in your vehicle. And because 5G is essential to this vision, Samsung and Harman are delivering the industry's first 5G automotive solution. It will support vehicle to vehicle, everything to commu communication, which will lay the groundwork for fully autonomous driving in the future. Our new telematic solution will work with existing 4G LTE networks and is primed for 5G connectivity in the future. And that future is here. I'm proud to announce we have already signed a leading European automaker as the first customer for this 5G telematic solution ever. Thank you. And you will be able to experience the TCU and digital cockpit in the Samsung booth and in the Harman Showcase at CES. And I invite you to come and see. Here at CES, we are also introducing DriveLine, our new platform for autonomous driving. Designed by Samsung in close collaboration with Harman, DriveLine combines modular hardware and software with an open ecosystem to accelerate best-in-class solutions. Powered by the cloud, DriveLine brings together high-performance computing and sensor technologies to support advanced safety features that are fundamental to autonomous driving. With DriveLine, a vast ecosystem of companies can collaborate, build on each other's discoveries, and accelerate their products from concept to you as consumers. Later this year, we will introduce the first DriveLine Advanced Driver Assistance System, co-developed by Samsung and Harman. The future of mobility is technology that improves every aspect of driving experience. Technology that connects the car to the world around us and most importantly, technology that makes the road 
safe for everyone. Thank you. And now I bring Pim back to you. Thank you. Amazing stuff, Dinesh. Thank you very much. So, from the connected car, office, and home, today you saw Samsung's vision for an intelligent and seamless IoT experience. An open ecosystem that brings together hundreds of millions of Samsung and SmartThings partner devices powered by a unified cloud, controlled by a single app, and infused with Bixby intelligence. A suite of new experiences that work seamlessly across your devices and that will continue to expand over time. And of course, new products that will bring these experiences and open up new possibilities. All of this will allow you to do what you can. Thank you and have a great CES 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, this now concludes the Samsung 2018 CES press conference. For your safety, we ask that you please refrain from climbing onto the stage. To explore our products in more detail, we invite you to visit the Samsung booth in the North Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Thank you.